What if I told you that lifting weights could actually help you get rid of your heel pain faster? And no, I'm not talking about your bench press. I'm talking about using your own body weight in a very specific way. In this video, I'm going to break down the science behind a high load strength training exercise that outperforms stretching in people with plantar fasciitis. And if you stick around till the end, I'm going to show you a tool that makes this exercise even easier to perform, especially if you're struggling with balance or consistency in the form when doing this exercise. Let's dive in. Let's start with the science behind this. A well-designed study by Rathliff and colleagues in Scandinavia looked at 48 patients with ultrasound-confirmed plantar fasciitis. They split them in two groups. Group one used gel shoe inserts and did daily stretching focused on the plantar fascia. Group two used those same inserts, but instead of stretching, they did a high load strength training exercise every other day. This exercise involved slow, single leg heel raises with the towel rolled under the toes. That towel lifted the toes upward, which helped activate the plantar fascia using something called a windlass mechanism. Now, if you haven't heard of the windlass mechanism, don't worry, I'll explain it in a way that actually makes sense in just a minute. But first, let's look at what they found. The results were impressive. After just three months, the strength training group had a 29 point improvement in something called the foot function index, which basically measures pain and how well you can function during everyday activity. That's not just statistically significant, that's clinically relevant. So it means that walking, standing, and moving throughout the day felt noticeably better for these patients. Over time, both groups continued to improve, but the strength training group got there faster. And that early improvement can make a huge difference in how people feel and stay motivated when they have heel pain. Now, this study by Rathliff and colleagues was published back in 2014. So the question is, is this still relevant in 2025? Now, there's a more recent study published in the Indian Journal of Physiotherapy and Occupational Therapy just last year in 2024, which looked at athletes with plantar fasciitis and compared two different treatment approaches. The first group did high load plantar fascial resistance training, along with ultrasound treatments. And the other group followed a more traditional rehab routine. This included ankle strengthening exercises, towel curls, Achilles stretches, and plantar fascial stretching exercises using a tennis ball. And then they also got the same ultrasound treatments. Both groups improved, but once again, the high load group had significantly greater improvements in both pain and function in this study just after even just two weeks. The high load strength training helped people get better faster. So what's going on here? Why did this work so well? Let's break it down. To really understand why this exercise works, we need to revisit the concept I mentioned earlier the windless mechanism. I know it sounds complicated, but it's actually pretty simple when you think of it just like this. So on a sailboat, there's a device called a windlass. Now this is present in most boats, not just sailboats. What it is, is a rotating drum that pulls in the anchor rope. As you crank the drum, the rope winds tighter and the anchor gets pulled up using mechanical leverage. This makes lifting that heavy anchor much easier by putting tension through the rope. Your foot actually has a similar system built into it. When you lift your big toe upward, it pulls on the plantar fascia, which is that strong banded tissue underneath your foot. This tightens the fascia 
and helps lift the arch, giving your foot more support. This tightening process is your body's natural windlass mechanism. And here's why that matters. The plantar fascia is made up of collagen, similar to tendons. And we know from other tendon studies that applying slow, high load tension can stimulate the tissue to remodel and get stronger over time. This is the same principle we use when rehabbing Achilles tendinopathies or patellar tendinopathies. It's not just about stretching, it's about loading the tissue in a way that promotes healing. So here's how you actually do the exercise the way it was done in the study. Step one, place a rolled up towel under your toes on a step. Step two, with your toes extended upward, perform a slow single leg heel raise. Now you wanna hold that single leg heel raise for about two seconds at the top of your range of motion. And then step three, lower down slowly with control. It should take you about three to five seconds to get back to the bottom. And then repeat this, you're gonna do 12 reps and three total sets and then you'll do this exercise every other day. But if you've tried this with a towel before, you might notice that it's not the easiest setup. The towel can slip or the towel can compress unevenly, making balancing a little tricky. It's also hard to consistently get the same amount of great toe extension in order to activate that windless mechanism. So that's why I often recommend a device called the fasciitis fighter. This product's designed to replicate the same toe extension position from these studies, but with a firm, stable base that doesn't move around. It also has a nice grip on it that allows your toes not to slip when doing the exercise. It gives you better control, more comfort, and consistent positioning. And for patients who have poor balance, less flexibility, or want to make the routine easier to stick with, this can be a game changer. Another thing that I like about the fasciitis fighter is it's firm enough to avoid compression, and this makes it a good tool to do a modification of this exercise for somebody who may have pain or stiffness in their big toe joint from arthritis. In this case, you stand at the edge of the device so your big toe is hanging off the edge and just keep your little toes extended. For tips on how to do this exercise without bending that big toe, stay tuned for another video in which I'm gonna review how you can modify my top five exercises for plantar fasciitis if you have a painful or stiff big toe joint. Here's the big takeaway. Plantar fasciitis can be stubborn and frustrating and difficult to treat. But with the right kind of load, done the right way, your fascia can heal and remodel and support you better over time. Whether you use a towel or a device like the fasciitis fighter, the key is consistency and proper technique. Now, if you found this helpful, hit the like button or subscribe to the channel for more foot and ankle content. Now, one important word of caution. If your plantar fasciitis is very painful right now, especially with every step, this exercise might just be too aggressive to start with. Jumping into a single leg heel raise could flare things up. Instead, you wanna start with a gentler version. You can do the same heel raise using both feet at the same time to reduce the load. Additionally, you can do it from the floor instead of a stool. Now, if even that's too painful, start off doing this movement while seated. You can start with both feet at the same time and then move to one leg seated and then get back to the standing version. These modifications still load the fascia just at a lower intensity, which can be a better starting point while your pain settles down. Then as you build strength and tolerance, you can gradually progress to the full single leg version. You're gonna to wanna to eventually get to the single leg version because this is where the true magic happens and really strengthening that fascia to the point where you can handle more loads and get rid of your plantar fasciitis for good. You gotta stick with it. And let me know in the comments if you've tried this exercise or had success with it. I do read every comment and I'd love to hear how it's working for you. Have a great day.